Production Possibilities Frontier or Production Possibilities Curve, PPF or PPC for short. A PPF is one of the models of the country's economy. It is a graph showing the possibilities or combinations of two goods with the available resources of the firm in particular or the economy in general. Okay. Imagine yourself that you produce two goods alone, pizza and clothes, given all the resources you have, Citeris Paribus. By Citeris Paribus, we assume that you are not changing the level of technology used during the production process, and assuming further that resources must be fully utilized, meaning you used the available workers you have working eight hours a day in your shop. The question is, how will you allocate your resources for these two goods? You might say that, ah, I can focus on producing pizza only and no production for clothing. That means, if you allocate all your resources in the production of pizza, the maximum quantity of pizza that you can produce is 1,000 layers, but zero or no production for clothing. Or you would say, I can adjust the production of pizza so that I can produce some clothes, say 800 layers of pizza and 6 pieces of clothing. Or you might decide to produce 700 layers of pizza and 8 pieces of clothes, and so on. Or better yet, you would concentrate by producing in clothing alone. That means you allocate your resources for the production of clothing and nothing for pizza. Or it is represented by combination or point F. As you can see, there are six different scenarios in the table. And these scenarios represent producer's choices or possible combinations of pizza and clothing. Now, if we gonna graph these combinations, we derive a hypothetical production possibilities frontier. And the PPF is downward sloping. The PPF shows the combinations or possibilities of two outputs that can be produced with an economy's resources. Note that any combination of pizza and clothing outside the frontier is impossible to produce, let's say at point G. And point G here represents scarcity. However, any combination of pizza and clothing on or below the frontier or inside the PPF is attainable. It is possible to produce at point A, B, C, D, or F because they are on the PPF. Similarly, point H is possible or attainable also for the same reason. It is easy to produce at point H, say, 700 layers of pizza and 6 units of clothing. But is it optimal? No. Because production can still be higher as point C or point B if full utilization of resources is achieved. So point H here represents inefficient utilization of resources. Again, all the points below the frontier or curve are possible but not optimal. That's why the production level is lower than if it would use all the available workers or resources. A while ago, I have mentioned about scarcity, which was represented by the point outside the curve. Another idea that this diagram portrays is the term choice or decision. Take note that the points located along the PPF are also the choices that the firms are facing. Will the firm produce at point A, B, or C, or F? The firm has to make a decision as to what quantity of pizza and clothing will he produce. And again, in making a choice or decision, there will be 
opportunity costs. Suppose the firm produces at point C, or it produces 700 layers of pizza and 8 pieces of clothing. The opportunity cost of that decision can be found by comparing the production between point B and point C. As you can see at point B, there are 800 layers of pizza and 6 pieces of clothing. While at point C, the production of pizza has decreased to 700 while clothing has increased to 8 units. In other words, the production of pizza decreases by 100 units, while clothing increases by 2 units. This translates that the opportunity cost of producing 2 units of clothing is 100 units of pizza. How about the opportunity costs between point D and point E? From point D to point E, the production of pizza decreases by 100 units, as firm increases its production of clothing by 1 unit. In other words, the production of clothing will increase only if firm will decrease its production of pizza. Or, the only way for the firm to increase the production of pizza is by decreasing the production of clothing. This means that the opportunity costs of clothing is this one. Or, the opportunity cost of 100 pizzas is a piece of cloth. If you find it difficult to determine the opportunity cost, there is another way to describe it. This time, we will measure the slope of the PPF. What is a slope? In math, the slope of a line is a measure of its steepness. Similarly, the slope of the PPF measures the steepness of the curve, the blue colored line. So how to calculate the slope of the PPF? Slope is calculated as rise over run, or the change in y divided by the change in x. For example, if we will calculate the slope at point B to C using the formula, the slope is negative 50, meaning the opportunity cost of producing a piece of clothing is 50 layers of pizza. It is similar to say as the opportunity cost of producing 2 units of clothing is 100 layers of pizza. Or pwede ring sabihin, to increase the production of pizza by 100 units, the firm must decrease its production of clothing by 2 units. How about the slope at points D and E? Again, using the formula, the slope is equal to From D to E, the slope is equal to negative 100. Again, the intuition behind this figure is that the only way for the firm to increase the production of clothing by 1 unit is to decrease the production of pizza by 100 units or vice versa. The opportunity cost is the reason why the PPF is downward sloping. Now, calculate the opportunity cost of the following. From point A to B, from point D to C, and from point E to F. Now, let us wrap up all the things that we learned from the PPF. The PPF reminds us that resources are scarce. Scarcity means that we must make choices. And each choice has opportunity costs. Even if a good is provided for free, there is still an opportunity cost associated with producing it and consuming it. 
Is public schooling costless to students? If you did not pay for a tuition in this course, does it mean that there is no opportunity cost? If there is, what it is? There is no such thing as a free lunch. Can you explain what is this statement? That's all for now. See you in the next video.